the wooden Santas in this are pretty terrifying. But aside from that, Nostalgic Christmas is a very sweet film. This is a Hallmark film released in 2019, directed by J.B. Sugar, and written by Raoul Inglis, based on the book The House of Wooden Santas by Kevin Major. I haven't read the book. I have to say that is a terrifying title. That does sound like it should be a horror film. But this one definitely isn't. This is a very classic Hallmark film. Our protagonist, Anne, played by Brooke Dorsey, who I think is fantastic, returns to her hometown from New York City because her father is retiring and finally closing his toy store. She has a lot of fun memories of being around her father's woodworking wood shop. She made toys and things out of wood when she was younger and obviously now that she's back there for the father for the closing of her father's store a lot of nostalgic memories are resurfacing and relationships are kindling and there are new people in her life and it looks like there may be several reasons to make her want to consider staying in her old hometown but of course she's got a very successful life as a toy buyer in New York where will she end up by the end of the film of course I'm not going to say the other question is with whom will she end up by the end of the film um, very predictable in a lot of ways very comfortingly predictable you you get what you expect from a Hallmark film it's very festive a lot of beautiful reds and greens the costumes are gorgeous the soundtracks lovely all of the characters are likeable. Anne as a protagonist is not annoying. And I say that because a lot of protagonists in this kind of film are obnoxious and cannot see the wood for the trees. Excuse the pun. But here I find that she's just at a crossroads. And the film is there to help her make a decision about her future. And I, I really wish the best for her. One of the other morals that I love in this is that it's focusing on the simpler things in life and the fact that a child may love a simple wooden toy as much as if not more than something that's mechanical and technical and a smart toy um one of the toys that she is a buyer for uh, or of in this film is a horse that you can program to speak and all these kinds of weird things but maybe that's not what children want. Maybe maybe it's time to go back to basics and let children use their imagination even more. I like that message in this one. It's a very sweet film. I do like it a lot. Yes, the wooden Santas are quite creepy, but in a fun way. I found them very creative and inspiring. They each have different um, names, which is something that I thought was... Uh, quite a sweet idea actually and I think this kind of toy line would actually take off if they tried to launch this kind of thing as creepy as they may be. Nostalgic Christmas may not have the most creative title but I feel like the narrative is very inventive. I feel like certainly the title The House of Wooden Santas would have been a lot more engaging and fascinating but again might have been a bit creepy. But despite the slightly basic nostalgic Christmas title, I really like the characters, I like the casting, the development of the narrative, the level of festivity in it, the morals, the messages. It's really great. It's not my favourite Hallmark Christmas film, but if I had to try and narrow down my top, let's say, 20, I'd say Nostalgic Christmas is a pretty good contender for that list.